Hi everyone. As you may or may not know, Crafters Companion had their birthday two week sale uh, a couple of weeks ago. And I've just started getting my orders from there. Um, and I have um, one order that I just received that I had to share with you. Uh, most of it is this beautiful Enchanted Dreams. Um, so I've got pieces of that one to show you. But first, I want to show you the Bell Country side. Now, as I've said before, I'm... There aren't a whole lot of collections um, lately that I buy everything. And um, so I just kind of piece what I want. Uh, the Bell Country side, um, I really enjoyed the paper. So I bought the paper and then that was it. Then I went back and in the next order, which I haven't received yet, I did buy the die with the horse because I don't have any horses. Um, but I wanted to share with you um, the the paper because um, it's just really, really pretty. Um, this pad only has 24 um, sheets and I'm not sure what, um, you know, they used to have 48 sheets and then some of them now have 36 and some of them only have 24 and I have yet to figure the, the out uh, why the reasoning. Um, but um, this is just really soft and it kind of reminds me of just an old, um, let's see if I can get this tucked in here so it won't come back at us. Um, just an old kind of paper. It is double-sided. Uh, let me see if I can, I'll hold it. Um, so that's the opposite side. Um, see, it's just a real soft, soft print. And I think there's two of each one. This is like an old Southern. It reminded me of kind of a Georgia uh, mansion, plantation, or, well, not a plantation, just a mansion. Um, but it's horse, so maybe Kentucky. I don't know. It could be anywhere we want it to be. Um, and... Clearly, it's not in America because this is not, this is like, I don't even know what this is. German? Maybe. Austrian? I don't know. But it's pretty. Um, and this is the opposite side of that one. Now, see, this one's in English. Race of the Roses, Stems and Heads, Best Known, Hybrid, talks about roses, so, I don't know, but there's see the little splashes, I don't know if you can see very well, splashes of uh, the green and the purple together, it's just kind of soft and dreamy-like, I love the lanterns, there, there were uh, quite a few stamps in this collection, I think, but as you all know, if you watch my videos, I like the dies. Um, love these lanterns. This reminds me of um, Princess and the Frog, the Disney movie in uh, Louisiana with the, um, with the candle lights inside the trees. This is real pretty. Oh, Paris, Cambrai. Um, I guess this paper is from all over the world. Just so pretty. This is kind of like a rosy peachy color. Just so pretty. This is Massachusetts, it says. Roses, magnolias, and there is the horse. So pretty. So pretty. This is that dreamy watercolorish backside.
antiques. So pretty. There's those lanterns again. So nice. And the horse again. You know, it has a horse, but the pages that don't have horses, it, I mean, this would go for anything. Oh, look at this big mansion. It can go be used for anything, especially these backsides. There's that purple and green again. So, anyway, I couldn't resist the paper. I think it'll make uh, really pretty cards and really pretty scrapbook pages. So, that was the Bell Countryside. All right, so. The Enchanted Dreams. I bought not all of it, but uh, quite a bit. So the paper pad, I bought the paper pad pack and it came with the 12 by 12. It came with the six by six paper and the vellum and the vellum is printed it's just real dreamy also it has uh six different patterns and three of each so let's take a look at that and then we'll take a look at the little pad because it'll be easier um, this was just the Enchanted Dreams is I get the theme is uh, was unicorn but I did not get the unicorn that went with it because I have several unicorns uh, that I can use All right, let me get a white sheet. I'm not sure, hold on. I'm not sure which side, okay, I think it's this side. All right, so Do I have a bigger, a bigger white sheet so that you can see better? I'll piece it together. All right. So this is real pretty with the little clouds. And then the hydrangea balloon. They had a stamp of the hydrangea balloon, but I thought it wasn't something that I would use a lot of. So I did not purchase that. Oh, this is so pretty. So pretty. I mean, these would make great backgrounds of a card. In fact, I just did a video earlier today with a large words. That would be so pretty, look. how pretty that would be that's you know let me look at this one that would be gorgeous look at that oh those are going to be great all right so that's oops okay the second pattern. Here's the third pattern. Oh, 
these are just gorgeous. And I think these are eight by eight. Yeah, eight by eight. And then there's this one that has writing on it. Just a subtle, so pretty. Just so dreamy. Oh, I love the way the colors go and the hints, hint of uh, splashes of gold, metallic gold in this one. So gorgeous. And then this is the last one. It's got the gold, but it also has like the writing. Oh, so pretty. I have to figure out how best to use this and maximize each piece because they are absolutely gorgeous. Whoops. So that's vellum. Get it back in the package. There we go. All right, so now let's take a look at the papers. And this is the six by six, but the paper will be the same in the 12 by 12, so. So this one says, believe in the magic of your dreams, and it ma makes it look like it's layered. And there's the unicorn. And then the backside. And then this one, oh, this is so pretty. With all the flowers splash of color and then the back side of this one and then the rainbows look at how cute they are little rainbows with the flowers and then another just kind of dreamy pattern on the back then we've got the hydrangeas and then these are just like the, or the, I should say the vellum is just like the backs of these. So, flowers. And then the back of that. Oh, this is pretty. This is very pretty with the dragonflies and the butterflies and the basket. Another back, just like the vellum, the unicorn, with flowers in its hair. And then that's the basket that we saw. Oh, this is pretty with the unicorns laying down and the rainbows. And then the dreamy background. Flowers again, different flowers. Dreamy background. This is the unicorn head and a bunch of flowers. Kind of interesting with the background. Unicorn and laying down with flowers. background. Oh, we saw that pattern in the vellum and that one also.
And this is pretty. Very pretty. We saw that pattern before too. Yeah, it's a nice one. So they're just very just very soft and dreamy. Oh, I love this purple, green, and the peach, hint of peach right there. Oh, little dragonflies with the hydrangea basket. Oh, this is pretty. This would be really pretty card with just a sentiment right there and some shimmer ink on it. I try not to send square cards because it costs more in postage, but these are too pretty. I mean, this would make a perfect six by six card front. So I think I'm going to be paying a little extra postage. All right, so in addition to the paper and the vellum, um, I got the spellbinding borders, as they call them. And there's uh, five different ones. There's one, two, three, four. It says there's five. Let's open it up and see. I'm a sucker for borders. Do I use them all the time? No. Should I? Yes. Okay, there's the cutting edge there. So, but look at how pretty these are. I mean, they really are pretty. And they measure, it must be five. Come on now. Oh no, seven. What was I thinking? Seven. And this one I think is little over one inch this one is a little over one inch too so so I couldn't resist those and I can't get it in them there we go all right so that's okay you can just stay like that borders and then I got the uh, mystical frame because I love frames and I do use those a lot. So, and there's five pieces. This one says the biggest one is five by seven. It looks huge. So let's take a look at it. Oh my gosh look at how beautiful this is oh my goodness this it will make a statement for sure there it is where is my five wow this is a five by seven card, but well, let me double check. This is slightly short of seven and slightly short of five. And these are Crafter's Companion cards from the kits. So this clearly is shorter than that is. And it says, all right, well, let's see. Yep, 
Yep, they are full. Seven that way. And uh, cutting edge to cutting edge of full five. So they are a full five by seven. No joke. This is just huge and absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'll be cutting my own card for this one. All right. And then I got the 3D embossing folder, Whimsical Woodland. It's just gorgeous, the dimension that's in it. It's going to be so pretty. Look at all the detail on the branches. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I had to get the little butterflies and the dragonfly. Even though I've lost count of how many butterflies I have. I'm probably, I don't know. I'm probably up to maybe 70 different ones. I don't have a lot of dragonflies though. But the detail, they were just so lacy and detailed. So I thought, well, why not? And then last but not least, I got the 5x5 five five stencils. This is Abstract Splash. And then this is a decorative script. Um, I just, I love stencils and I just thought they would be perfect um, to use not only with this kit, but with other ones too. So, um, so that's it. Enchanted Dreams. I love it. I... Let me know whether you love it. Let me know whether you've picked it up. I think they still have it on their website. Um, I noticed that not a lot of things um, sell out. These days, I think, you know, pricing has gone up all the way around. Not only with Crafters Companion, but just in general, all of them, including, you know, HSN, Lord knows. Um, but um, that's good because you don't have to hyperventilate and try to grab something before it sells out like we used to have to do. So, um, but that's it. I, I'm really happy with... Um, with the things that I've gotten so far from the birthday sale. Um, and um, I think these are going to be gorgeous uh, cards and stuff. So when I make some stuff, I'll uh, post it and let you know. Um, so that's it. If you have it, let me know um, how you like it. Um, if you've uh, got it at the birthday sale, I think they had it last time on HSN too. I think they had the whole uh, complete set. Um, so, which, like I said, I didn't get, um, but I got all the pieces that made me happy. So, so that's it. Um, as always, thanks for taking the time to watch. Uh, if you're a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you're thinking about subscribing, please do. Um, I would love it if you did. Um, so until next time, stay safe and well and happy crafting. Bye-bye.